Watch this. We, we always say, if it's your will. If it's in your will. If it's in your will. We pray all these elaborate prayers. And then we want to end them with, if it's in your will. If I'm already inside a true word of life. I ain't got to say if I'm in true word of life. If I'm already inside of the kingdom of God, I don't have to say, God, if it's in your kingdom. Y'all ain't making no noise. Come on. Are y'all ready to go higher? I want you to stand to your feet as we bring to this holy roster. Pastor of C3 Ministries right here in Montgomery, Alabama. Pastor LaSheila Gordon Gary. Y'all clap your hands for, come on, for this woman of God. Y'all come on, come on, come on. Amen. Amen. Y'all get over this, Pastor. God bless you, woman of God. Oh, bless the Lord in this place. <laughs> I'm like this man that got old. That was real cute. Bless the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to him. God, we bless you. We honor you. We, we glory in you, God. You are so amazing. Lord, we thank you for what you've done in this house and what you continue to do as your word continues to wash us and your word continues to just hover over us. God, we are asking that you arrest the very atmosphere in the region, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every service that is taking place, God, in this place, outside of this place, around this place, Jesus, you be the author and the finisher of everything spoken in that house, God. Let worship go forth. We're not just saying in here for us, God. We're standing in the gap for every other ministry that's open in the name of Jesus that salvation would just bust down the doors in the name of Jesus you're looking for some gap fillers here we are God we bless you and we honor you and we thank you for being such a matchless king in Jesus' name amen you can be seated in his presence amen amen bless God bless God um, I know the protocols of the day Honoring my husband who is not here today, um, Elder Garrett, my covering. Blessing God for the set man and woman of this house. God bless you. Blessing God for the other ministers in the gospel who carry the word of God. God bless you. Be strengthened in him. Blessing God for the leaders who labor for these worship ministers who have to sacrifice just as much to lead us into worship. Blessing God for the sacrifice. Amen. I want to go to a familiar scripture and as long as he says, Terry, I'll Terry, but I promise you I'll be in obedience to the set rules of the house. We're going to go to Ephesians 3 <laughs> and 20. And while you're going to Ephesians 3 and 20, I'm going to tell you how God lined this word up today. The Lord lined this word up today from the beginning song to the end because I've not heard from this man of God at all about where he was going, nor what you were going to speak, or even what the songs were ministered today. But everything led up to this place where we understand this good God that we have and how big this good God is that we have. And there's a certain way that we got to go to God when we want God's stuff. We're going to have to do what you said and go back to God. I can't get my daddy's stuff asking my sister. I'm only going to get my daddy's stuff when I go to my daddy and ask my daddy for his stuff. And I got to go a certain way to daddy. You know when we sweeten it a little bit and we've been in obedience, Ephesians 3 and 20, I'm giving you time. When, when we've been right, we can go to daddy. When we're wrong, we can still go to daddy. Because the father does not stop being the father just because we mess up. Matter of fact, if the truth is told, we all to boldly go to daddy because daddy is daddy. And if anybody can fix it. Now, 
Now, Pastor, you holding out on me over here. Because I'm looking back there and I see some scripture. Covenant Christian Church. Somebody need to holler at Pastor Anthony Clark. Because I need to be able to look up and see some scripture. Y'all see what I'm plugging, don't you? Y'all heard him say he's going to get, okay. Trey Wick? Amen. Hold his feet to the fire because he'll run. <laughs> but he running for Jesus. Been doing it a long time. And he not tired yet. <laughs> Ephesians 3 and 20. Watch the word says. Now unto him. That is able to do exceedingly. Abundantly. Above all that we ask or think. According to the power. That worketh in us. I want to read it in the NIV. Don't change that when you're good. The NIV says now to him. Who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. So the word says now to him, to who? Let's, let's clarify who we're talking about. And I want to skip down to the 21st verse, but we're going to hang our hats right on 20. So just glimpse down right at the beginning of the 21st verse where it says to him be glory. Now unto him, to him what? Be glory. Now unto him be glory. So what we're supposed to give him is glory. That's the end result. If, then. That's logics. But in the middle of that sandwich are some things that are important for us as believers. He says, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask. The word ask is a Greek word and it means aeto. It means to see, believe it or not. <laughs> ask, yes, means ask for. But the word first means you got to see. You can't ask for what you have not spiritually seen. Before we can ask for God for what we need, we got to have spiritual eyes to see. I got bad because some of y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. And the reason why you're looking at me like I'm crazy because you forgot about James 4 and 3. He said we ask, but we ask amiss. We don't receive it because we ask God. We want to consume it on our own lust because we didn't sit still. Go to God for instructions. Ask him what his will was. Abide in his will. And then, because this is the thing, if you're in the will of God, you're going to ask God for what he wants anyway. Watch this. We, we always say, if it's your will. If it's in your will, if it's in your will, we pray all these elaborate prayers and then we want to end them with if it's in your will. If I'm already inside a true word of life, I ain't got to say if I'm in true word of life. <laughs> If I'm already inside of the kingdom of God, I don't have to say, God, if it's in your kingdom, I'm already in the kingdom. If you're already a citizen of the king, don't you know what the king is offering? He said, ask. He said, ask. See. With a spiritual mind, with a spiritual eye that only he can open. The problem is we're going to folk to open spiritual eyes when they can't open your spiritual eyes. The only one who can open spiritual eyes is the presence of the Holy Ghost. And if the presence of the Holy Ghost has consumed us and overtaken us and resides in us, lives in us, controls us, orders our steps, there is no way we can be absent out of the presence of God. Ha. So, so we ask, what's your will, God? So we ask, give, give, give me the words to say, God, don't just let me be talking. And what I'm saying is like sounding brass and tinkling cymbals in your...
We're wondering why there are no miracle signs and wonders in the church anymore. There are no miracle signs and wonders in the church anymore because we have abdicated Jesus out of the church. I brought enough amens in my pocket, baby. So he said, y'all all right? So he said, he said, ask. Watch the word. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably, or it says to do exceeding abundantly. Now I need to fix some things that we've been teaching wrong. <laughs> because we've been saying to do exceedingly abundantly. And I need you to understand in grammar that when we add an L-Y onto a word, it then becomes an adverb. But according to this text, the text says exceeding abundantly. It is describing abundance. It is describing the abundance, Lee. It is exceeding. It is going beyond. That's why the NIV said it was immeasurable. He says, now to him who is able to do immeasurably. There is no boxing it in, baby. There is no capsizing. There's no uh, glass ceiling over the abundantly. There, there is nothing that you can think about or imagine or dream or somebody could prophesy over you or God could prophesy to you in you there's nothing God said that we would ever be able to imagine on this side of glory now to him <laughs> who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask see See, see, see. Or imagine, and you know I looked up imagine, don't you? Imagine, watch this, says, the first one was understand. <laughs> Ain't it something when folk ask God for gifts, they don't even understand the responsibility that they come with. I want to sing like him or her. I want to preach like him or her. Oh, I wish I could fast like him or her. I, I, I wish I had the finances like him or her. Don't you understand that to whom much is given, much is required? You want somebody else's glory. And you have no clue about the story. You don't know how many nights they laid on the floor before God. You don't know how many tears they cried before the Lord. You don't know how many times they went through rejection. You don't know how many times they were abandoned by the ones they loved. And God made them stay right where they were. You don't know how many times they may have been knocked upside the head and praying for the woman next to them to be delivered. You better understand what you're asking God for. Says to understand. Understand. We asking God for stuff that we ain't spiritually grown enough to handle. Amen. Amen. We, we asking God for the next level of glory. And the Lord said, I know you in here because watch what he told me. He said, you got to go back because you didn't get it the first time. God give me the next level God give me the next level God give me the next level he said I don't know what next you going to cause you didn't get this yet if God gave some of us next we would choke and die out So we wonder, we wonder why, why, why we, we go around the mulberry bush one more time. Just going one more time. 
I know I look crazy to somebody who may have the sound down on the television or on their phone and all they see is me going around one more time. Just like I look crazy to them in the natural. You got those who are discerning and those who are on the wall for real. And those who are fasting for real. And those who are serving for real. And those who are sacrificing for real. And they're sitting back and saying, God, as long as you allow it, I'm going to tear it right here in the mix. But they're looking at us crazy like, when are you going to stop with this foolishness and actually be about the kingdom of God's business? Or like my country self say, get yourself somewhere and sat down. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask. Or imagine the first definition you thought I forgot where I was. Well, to understand, the second one was see with insight. See, it's not just enough to understand the word of God. We got to sit in this thing long enough until God gives us insight. It's, it's not enough to just read the word of God. The text didn't say read it. The text said study to show thyself. See, I love the convenience of a Bible app. But let me tell you something, baby. You better get you something you can thump. And you can write in, you can write along the margins, you can get you some paper and stick it over in there, get you a 33 cent tablet, because we got to study this word. And I'm a pastor who will tell them, don't believe everything I say, get yourself back in the word the next day and try it to make sure that I'm not standing up here lying. And then we want to say, but I didn't know when I was growing up that this was wrong. Do you know what we just did? We just indicted ourselves. We didn't know because we didn't go read. We didn't know because we didn't go study. We didn't know because we didn't respectfully say, Pastor, I know what you said, but I don't quite understand with insight. I don't understand. Oh, if you can zoom in, zoom in on me, baby. Because I don't want to leave you out. Pastors, if you are teaching, a word that is not rightly divided. And if your people cannot come to you and get understanding with insight, pastor, you are doing a disservice to the kingdom of God. Woman of God, are you bold enough to say that? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, I am. It's time for us to quit shucking and, and jiving in the church. People are getting lost and going to hell because we're playing church. And the sad thing is, it's not in the pews anymore. Am I all right? Am I all right? It's in leadership. It's in pulpits. It's in the back room. You in the text? Yeah, I'm in the text. Because this exceedingly, exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to, yeah, I like to get to this one, the power that works in us. Power. And we shout on exceedingly abundantly. But not the power that works in us. We want God to do what he said. If my power rested in you, then you have the ability to do what it is you're trying to shake up heaven for. Jesus said, didn't I tell you? Greater works. Didn't he say greater works? He said, he said when he was getting ready to roll out of here, he said, greater works than these. What kind of these? These miracles. Raising the dead. See, I got stupid faith. Sometimes I want to walk in a funeral. <laughs> and you know my son real crazy sometimes I want to walk in a funeral and I want to be the one to say get up so, matter of fact since we all family can I just be transparent we had the opportunity
opportunity to watch the transition of a nephew a couple of weeks ago. And I blessed God because I had the opportunity as his pastor to eulogize him. But how many of y'all know? <laughs> Let me fix this paparazzi jury. Shameless plug. How many of y'all know that when they walked out, <laughs> they said, you coming out? I said, give me a minute. I'm coming on. I'm standing over there by the body. You know what I did, don't you? You know. <laughs> if it's in your will, God, and you don't mind letting them go, you know. I, 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 that's funny right now. But the thing that we forget is the power of God. And, and this is not dunamis power. This is dynamis power. Dynamis, the root word, we understand this. Dynamic power. This kind of power that resides in us is residue from dunamis. And this kind of dynamic power that is supposed to be living and breathing and moving and coursing through our veins like the blood. This kind of power, when somebody says they need healing, we ought to be able to pray for them because the power of God rests in us and he does the healing. Notice I didn't say you do the healing. Don't get it twisted, baby. The miracles belong to God. The signs and wonders belong to God. The increase belongs to God. The victory belongs to Jesus. He said, he said, I'm, I'm finna roll out, I promise. Now to him, who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask. Oh, can I give you this for free? He said, why you stop asking me? You stopped asking because I told you, you got to wait. You, you, you stopped asking because I love you enough to tell you no. Can I come on down now a little bit? Because it hurt when he gave this one to me. He said, you stopped asking, LaShelia, <laughs> when you asked me and then wait on the answer. So I let you fall on your face. Watch this. Because it was on your face that you found me again. Because for some of us, we real hard head. And when the man of God was saying, as long as we were going through struggles, we stayed in the presence of God. As long as we were going through trials and tribulations and we had issues and circumstances going on, we were always praying and fasting and the, the pastor didn't have to call a fast for us to fast. <laughs> Guess what happened? We fasted because we understood that if I don't get this, you don't do this, Jesus. It can't be done. If, if you don't fix this thing, it won't be fixed. And so watch what God did. God has to take some of us back on our knees by circumstance because we forgot it was him who brought us out in the first place. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above we could or it's not just a matter of asking. It is asking, seeing spiritually with insight and thinking, having full understanding. Oh, can I give you one more for, for, for this? Um, imagine. I got one more free for you. We got to reflect on what God has done. We go so fast we don't slow down long enough to think about it and because we don't slow down long enough to think about it we forget what he's done because we don't stop old school said when I think about Jesus and all he's done for me old school don't you ain't gotta go there he was ready he was ready because we don't spend time 
telling God thank you I, I thank you for when you heal me of that oh but wait a minute God I forgot when you brought me out of that oh but wait a minute God I forgot when you healed my child wait a minute God I forgot when I knew that there was no food in this house and you sent sister so and so by here with a few packs of meat and some rice and we were able to make it up. I forgot when you did that God God I forgot when I knew the gas light was on and I had to get to work and not only did I get to work but I got back home Jesus I forgot when I did have that little headache, but it distracted me so until I was unfruitful and I wasn't productive. And I said, God, can you just take it away? And before I looked around, it was gone. I, well, reflect on what he's done. Yeah, I know it was hard when you was in it, but you forgot you ain't in it no more. You out. I hear you, Jesus. The power that works within us, you, 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 united, us. This is a collective pronoun. Because when your power and your power gets with your power and my power... <laughs> And your power, and your power. I got Bob, and you think I'm lying? Well, two or three are joined together, touching and agreeing. He said he would be. What are we giving to him? We are giving him glory. Where? In the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations. Forever? And ever, and he sealed it with a kiss because he said, Amen. God bless you. All things are working for my good. Intentional, never failing. I know that all things are working for my good, yeah. Cause he's intentional, never failing. She that out that all things are working for my good. Cause he's intentional, yeah. He's intentional. And it's never failing, no. All things are working All for things my good. All working for my good. Because he's intentional. He's intentional. Yeah.